YouTube, I'm back again to give you some tips today in this video, although today is going to be a little less academic and a little bit more social media fun. And so this video is for people like you who are watching this who also like to subscribe to other YouTubers who are in a medical school. I personally found a lot of YouTube channels to be very helpful throughout the first two years of medical school. I obviously can't say uh, much about the third year and fourth year parts because I haven't done as much uh, research online to see who's out there for me giving me tips about that. Uh, but right now, up until this point, I have a good list of people that have really helped me uh, in my studies with good advice and also specific channels that are geared towards academic learning. Also, this is not sponsored by them. I, a lot of them, actually the majority of them, I haven't even met or talked to. This is just purely a review based off of who I found to be helpful to me when I was going through first year and second year struggles. So my number one favorite medical YouTuber is Andrea Tooley, and I'm sure many of you have heard of her because she was kind of the one person on YouTube who really started the whole medical, uh, how do I say this, vlog style update of med school life and everything. She started years ago and she has a medical blog and she talks all about life in med school, also all about her fitness and health journey and adventures and she talks about her wedding and all these different things. Andrea Tooley is now an ophthalmology resident at the Mayo Clinic so she has clearly made it far and she has a lot of really great advice to offer to you from the beginning of her channel with her old videos all the way up until now. The next channel that I want to talk about is Doc Osara and he is a neurology resident that went to school in California and he has a lot of great playlist videos all about um, his life throughout medical school but specifically videos like how to study pathology and how to study microbiology and so on and so forth. So if you really want to have a one-on-one -on -one face to face if you want a guy particularly uh, or someone who is going into neurology which I know a lot of people are interested in then you can follow his journey there and also if you want a little bit more tailored videos on how to study for a specific class as well then you can head over there as well. So the next person that I subscribed to I believe was when I was near the end of first year and she is Coffee Mugger MD. And again, just like a lot of other YouTubers, she is making her way through third year I think right now and she's just been documenting uh, all of the things that she's been going through over the past couple years in medical school and offering her uh, many tips that she has and giving you an idea of what it's like to be a second year or a day in the life of a third year and she's also sharing information about what it's like to go through each of her specific rotations. The next person that I would recommend subscribing to is student Dr. Thompson. I believe he is in his fourth year of medical school now and again he's just been documenting his journey since day one. He answers a lot of questions about what it's like to have a relationship in medicine. He talks about what it was like studying for step one. Again, reviews about what it's like to be a first year and a second year student and he also has great videos that summarize his experiences for each specific rotation that he went through. Another great channel is Stomp on Step 1, and this isn't a vlog style channel, but Stomp on Step 1 is a USMLE review series, and this is the channel that I use specifically to study for biostats. The information on there is really condensed, really high yield, and the way that the, the guy, I think it is, who runs the channel has really condensed and simplified uh, uh, methods of explaining the material. So if you want to go and check out how to, let's say, study biostats, I'm just going to look and see what else he has. So biostats, immunology, psychiatry, and all these things, and you can go there and check out his playlists. So one of my most favorite channels that I subscribe to, again, is a more academic channel, and it's called Anatomy Zone. And this honestly was such a lifesaver when I was in first year taking my anatomy course for the first time. The digital effects for the videos are amazing. They really allow you to get kind of an inside view of what the body looks like when it comes to the nervous system and the vascular system and muscles and all the organs in the body and the skeletal system and everything. It zooms right in onto each of these different organ systems and you can um, get a really good explanation and summary by bullet point of the person narrating each video of what these systems or how these systems work and what the role of the organ that you're looking at is. 
And so it's a really good summary of everything that you're going to be learning in your anatomy course for every part of the body that you're going to cover. Another great channel if you're looking for some help with anatomy is Ken Hub. Again, just like with Anatomy Zone, they'll walk you through specific organ systems, they'll show you everything up close and in 3D and you can rotate through the, through the images of what they're showing you and it's just a great way to really visualize everything that you can't see when you're looking at a cadaver or even on a, a uh, 1D page of your textbook. And one of the YouTubers that I actually have chatted with and am friends with via social media is a dash of Mo, and she is a, uh, I think, second year medical student, and she has just been making face-to-face uh, -face videos with her and the camera sitting down and just kind of explaining what it's like to be a medical student on a week-to-week -week basis. And I think she's just started up her channel again and making new videos for her second year of medicine. So if you want to go see what her experiences were for her first year, then head over there. So the next channel, and probably one of my favorite medical vlog series channels, is uh, Jane and JD. And sorry for the lighting, by the way, my uh, camera just died, so bear with me for a couple minutes. But their channel is all about life in medical school again. They are third year students. They just took their step one USMLE a couple weeks ago or a, a month or two ago or something. And Jane is really into fashion and I think JD's really into cars and together they just vlog their cool, stylish life in medicine and kind of talk about random things like what they, how they study or what a day in the life is like in, a med uh, in medical school and so on and so forth just like those other YouTube medical bloggers. So the last channel that I would definitely recommend subscribing to if you're interested in health and fitness is the Strive to Fit. And this is a woman who is going to medical school but also trying to document her uh, strive to essentially be healthy and active while she's tackling the books and sitting down at her desk and always studying and everything like that. And she's really cool. I haven't met her personally but I love her videos and she's got like 30, 37,000 something subscribers so that's awesome and you should definitely check her out. So that brings me to the end of today's video. I hope you liked it. It was a lot shorter and a little bit more fun than what I usually do, but I just wanted you guys to know that there are other medical students who are out there and putting their lives on YouTube. And sometimes a lot of people don't have the friendships and the support system that they need in medical school. And looking online and YouTube and Twitter and Instagram is a great place to start if you feel like you really need some more advice and support from people out there who are going through what you're going through. So uh, without further ado, I will end this video. I hope you guys have a great week and I will see you next time. Bye!